Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family, thank you for taking the time out to, you know, be yourself. Being able to love yourself on all measures so you can be able to spread your love towards everybody else that truly needs it. So with that being said, much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload our next video also if you are comfortable enough please go ahead and drop me a line or two i love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction also if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or even giving you good vibes and you feel like you want to share it with a loved one, family, or a friend, or even if all empaths are going through some dark times right now and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, please go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And thank you so much for the support. And today, my video, uh, my meditation music I'm using for my video, I truly love this. This energy is giving me too. It's giving me life. Uh, it's called 300, three, I said 300, three hours of deep meditation music, Reiki healing music, uh, raise positive energy, vibration, and inner peace, and I'll post that link in the description box below. And the content of my video today is like Twin Flame 101, Hey Okas, when you look at, at life through a positive lens, you, uh, you open... You are open, you have opened up a lot of new opportunities. You have, when you can be able to see things for, for the purpose it was supposed to serve. You know, a lot of times we're stuck in our emotions about things that we're going through, about things we're dealing with, and things we are so desperately ready to run away from, but we can't do that. You know, I always tell people, you know, if you're still stuck in a certain situation that you are so ready, is like so outdated and so expired for you, you know, it's, it's trying to teach you something. It's trying to get you to acknowledge something. You know, with my situation, you know, I used to really feel like, um, and there's times I still feel that way, and I have to keep telling myself the same thing. Um, this situation that you're in right now, you know, you have to really see it for a positive blessing, like a blessing in disguise. And I feel that way because it's like when I first found out this journey, found this journey of me going through it, you know, finding out my dad was a celebrity seeing it prince was my dad and all these different things even though i know i've had connections with him my whole life but you know with the abuse i had to deal with you know i wasn't able to acknowledge those things i had to be able to cut the the connection off which was very hard for me to do you know i cried there were so many days i cried because i felt like you know this this was my guardian angel and you know my mom knew it made sense to her but her husband didn't want to acknowledge that situation but being able to know it was it was hard to deal with after his passing and all those different things but I had to go through that that initial shock for me to be able to know what my purpose was I'm um, being able to accept and embrace the person I truly was you know there was a lot of things I wasn't able to speak upon because it was frowned upon as being a mental illness even when it really wasn't um it was just me being gifted for what I was you know being that special child that that um that was just you know gifted upon every all these different things and it had me upset when my mom like I've said before my mom has um opened up to people that she truly trusted in her life and she was like she kind of figured that you know way things was going you know she wasn't going to live long and she allowed herself to open up and trust people to say you know I need my daughter to find her real parents you know this is her father and it's like you know her my ex-husband and his wife are trying to keep her away from you know her knowing this I need if she doesn't find this out before I die can you please help her and there was some few few people that was close to my mom that she 
trusted enough to open ourselves up to. And when all these things came about and I knew that they knew, you know, they would never help me. And I used to get so pissed about that. Like, how would you feel if somebody had kept you away from your family? Wouldn't you have wanted to know? And they, they, you know, they can kind of, they can kind of sit up here and say, you, you know, I would have been hurt too, but you know, look who your father is. Look what, you know, how much he's worth. We're jealous of that. We don't want you going there, so we're not going to help you. And it was a lot of people that knew about my situation. Either they made fun of me about it or they retaliated against me and I didn't know why. And they felt like I was a threat because of these things. And it's just like, yes, my dad is Prince, but I don't see him as Prince. I see him as a human being. I see him as my dad. I don't see him as all those things. And, you know, I had to go through that hurt and pain. I had to go through rejection. I had to go through, you know, setbacks because people wouldn't help me or, you know, the, the lawyers kept blocking everything. You know, family wasn't getting in touch with me because they felt like, you know, if she comes out, we're not going to get anything. You know, all these different things I had to go through. But then when I truly seen how it was, it allowed me to see who I truly was, uh, what all my gifts are in store. You know, my dad always dropped hints, you know, he named his group after me, Third Eye Girl. I didn't realize, you know, <laughs> I had that gift of the third eye, allowing myself to see things. My dad always told me I was very special, as well as my mom. And I didn't understand that. I thought you talk about silly special. We're like, no, you're gifted special. There are certain things you should not know. You know, I was speaking so much truth and so much power at being three, four years old. You know, they used to freak my family out because there was things, there was no way of me knowing. You know, how would I know my dad was a twin? You know, a lot of people always try to understand why he, you know, always were around twins. You know, his uh, band members, Lisa and Suzanne, uh, twin sisters. Uh, Maya and I forgot her twin sister's name you know he loved Elvis Elvis was supposed to be a twin but his twin died off you know just like my dad I was that twin that died off and had to be reincarnated through being his daughter so there was a lot of things that allowed me to see what it truly was even though I, it took me aback sometimes <laughs> you know I really was in shock about a lot of things but it allowed me to see that I had to go through this trauma. I had to go through the abuse so I can be that person that opens up using this situation, not, you know, to get attention, but being able to, for you to be able to resonate with the hard times that you have to deal with. Being able to see myself as a blessing, you know, acknowledging all my gifts and knowledge, acknowledging to let people know, hey, we can go through these terrible things that's been placed in our life, but when you start this genera you know, this situation, your journey, you won't be the same person that ends it. You know, you'll go through the fire and not even smell and smoke. You'll be able to be, you know, within that darkness, you'll be able to be that that throne of light. You know, and those are all the blessings, the beautiful blessings that I was able to see. You know, I I was scared because I was wondering, you know, people might not believe me. Or, you know, they might make fun of me because of these things. Yes, I had those, you know, things happen to me. Um, a lot of people didn't believe me. A lot of there was some people that were also jealous about that. There was some people that blocked me on my blessings because of that, and all of that stuff was a learning experience for me. Whether it was good or whether it was bad, it still taught me a lot of things. It really showed me how people can truly be, you know, when it comes to true, you know, certain situations. Um, seeing people that cling to me just for the fact is they love. My, my dad and all the reason why they tolerated me because I was my dad's child you know that was a hurtful situation but I had to be able to part myself like do you really want somebody to care about you just because of who you are related to or would you like somebody to care about you because of the things that you represent about you, you being genuine about you being real you know <laughs> still human so it was just like I had to really go through those things and being able to look at it in a positive light. Yeah, there was a lot of people that knew about my situation. Some of them assumed that I didn't know. Some of them didn't want to affiliate themselves with that because that that was me 
getting my blessings, me being able to go home, you know, knowing I truly seek closure. I would love more than anything to get closure. But right now I'm going through these chain events that I had to go through to find my strength, being able to love myself because I used to put myself in certain situations. If I didn't love myself, if I love myself, these things would have never happened. Me be able to have that respect for myself saying, you know, if you can't respect my boundaries or respect me, I just can't deal with you. Or, you know, um, being able to be around people that were truly genuine to me, knowing I can learn off of them as well as them learning off of me. And, you know, I had to look at that positive light and say, guess what? It allowed you to know yourself for who you truly were seeing that power within yourself and having that confidence in yourself that you never had before being able to have faith in the world as well as in the universe that these these tragic situations going to come out with a beautiful outcome and that's why i try to tell anybody that has had things in their life that happened to them that they would never wish on their worst enemy i would you know i, I would never want to wish this on anybody being able to know when you're already adopted that that always gives you that that sense of like nobody cared about you they didn't care about me enough to want to keep me you know there are some kids that don't see that but you know in my situation it had me feeling that way because I thought my dad didn't either know about me or he was ashamed of me and it was like neither one he knew about me you know there's so many times he's been in my life I wasn't able to put two and two together knowing we always connected you know knowing I've talked to my dad plenty of times and just never knew who he was connecting in so many ways knowing this person was attached to me on different levels that I yearned for so it was like looking at my situation has really brought me to a a very peaceful and yet powerful place being able to open up and tell people my life story and being able to help them heal along the way with their situation you know um I, you know it's just like when y'all tell me the things that y'all have endured in life and it breaks my heart and i always ask the angels and my spirit guys can you please allow them to heal because they deserve happiness not always when y'all tell me about your life journey i pray even though there's times i've cried because i can see the things that has you the way you are, makes you look at life differently, allows you to put walls up because of certain situations you have been placed in that you don't want to let a lot of people in. I've been that way as well. I feel like anybody that I have to second guess, like, you know, it's sad that I have to be able to be very cautious about what I put out. Um, being, not the fact that I'm being secretive, but allow myself just to know certain things just to know and not knowing ahead of time because a lot of people used to block my blessings when they found out a lot about these things and you know people are people at times you know it is what it is but being able to see things for what it truly is in that positive light that positive perspective of saying look at the tragedy if you've been in but look at all the beautiful blessings that you placed upon yourself and as well as others at the same time being able to know that I'm helping people see the power within themselves. You know, I can't make you, you know, make you, you know, do what you need to do. But I have to be that person that sends that friendly reminder of things that you always wanted is already within yourself. You know, you just have to have that courage to be able to seek within. A lot of us looking, at, you know, on the outside source, trying to find love, trying to find happiness trying to find validation when all those things we need to do is within ourselves you know it's it's good to be loved that's i mean that's a loving feeling to be loved by people but you have to be able to love yourself first you know you have the love that you instill towards other people you have to be able to do that to yourself as well and it's like for us being an empath that sometimes that can be hard so it's just like when you know the things that you're going through is hard knowing that tragic situation is going to bring about a positive outcome for you because it's going to allow you to seek that power that's within yourself. Being able to embrace the things that you were never able to acknowledge before or you were too scared to, you know, face. Knowing the things that have been placed on your life to bless, uh, break you, those are going to be the things that's going to bless you. So it's just like all the things we go through, it has a positive purpose. And I always tell y'all, there's purpose behind the pain that you have endured. There, your situation 
is allowed you to see things for what they truly are and it, it can be sad at times but it's all about how you look at them you know if you can sit up here and say you know what yes it's been placed on my life but what is it teaching me where is it taking me to it's taking you to places that you've never been able to you know comprehend where you're going knowing there there's things that you prayed for in your life yeah, even though you don't have them, that doesn't mean you're not manifesting them. You have to be able to know that it has to come out during divine timing. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I'm going to give a post notification shout out to, um, let me see, who is it? Who is it? Um, Joey Hale and Jonah uh, Cologne. Much love to you as well. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line. Let me know, you know, if you resonate. Is this, you know, truly speaking signs to you to let you know these things are coming for you? Share. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. Hit that bell. And, you know, send out as much love and light as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And I'll see you on my next video. Much love. Peace. Meanwhile.